Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio, Roselle, New Jersey. So we got a bike that came in for a quick fix before it goes off to Daytona. It's a beautiful, beautiful build with all top quality equipment, but he's getting noises and popping. And um, he says the bike is unrideable the way it is. The music sounds good, but it's the noise issue he has a problem with. Um, he's not He's not being overly picky. He's, he's right. There's a few issues here that we have to address. The layout's beautiful and the wiring's clean. But one thing I have an issue with is that's not copper wiring. That is aluminum wiring. It's actually it's half and half. That one is copper, but the one next to it, I'm 100% sure is aluminum. So the shiny one's aluminum. The matte colored one is copper. Uh, the Raptor one is aluminum. So we gotta fix that. We're gonna replace these RCA cables. I like these. I don't like those. When you fire it up. Got some crazy noises coming through the all the speakers. And then if you touch here, the noise gets worse. So that's what he's hearing as he's driving. I get, I get myself into a week before Daytona. It's all your fault, MC. Yes, it is. <laughs> why, why'd you let them do this? What's wrong with you for the last minute? We need to the last minute. Okay, it's stuff like this that gets me super upset. So now I'm trying to remove the harness and I can't. So quick disconnect on the ground on the remote turn on would be fine. Cool, I understand that. But this right here, the green wire is grounded and bolted to the bike. So now I can't remove the harness. The green wire is grounded. So why wouldn't you run the green wire to the ground wire? It's right here and it's labeled ground. So you ran all the way over there and made me not be able to unplug this when all you have to do is move this wire and jump into the wire that's labeled ground. Then the harness would be able to come off the damn bike. <laughs> 